So we have our next speaker, Cece Chen. I think he's calling you that. So there he goes, Calvin. I met her on the cruise also in 2017 on the Holistic Holiday Sea Cruise. Anybody else be on, on the Holistic Holiday Sea Cruise? Anybody? I know Beth Pereira was. That's where I met her also. So she's got her own business, Transform Health and Fitness. You're a certified Food for Life instructor, is that right? She also is a helicopter pilot and has her business here, Vertical Ventures. If you're interested in flying around in a helicopter in this area, I think she knows everything about the weather and every mountain here, probably. And then lastly, the Wandering Moose Cafe is, uh, is another business that she owns just north of here in Twin Mountain, I think. So you got the microphone. Right down there. Okay. She's going to begin her talk now, and it's going to be another great educational and informative talk, so go for it. Thank you, Mike. Everybody, Mike Young, we don't be here without him. And thank you, Captain. That's a hard act to follow, my goodness. So, again, my name is Colleen Chen. My friends call me Cece. I'm a health coach, certified in plant-based nutrition, and a Food for Life instructor. So this is the Plant-Based 101 talk. Have any of you guys seen the movie Forks Over Knives? Anybody? Very good, excellent. So if you haven't seen it, please go see it. It is an amazing movie, changed my life and my family's. So my husband and I, just one night, were couch surfing and we happened upon Forks Over Knives. And spoiler alert for those of you who have not seen it. Can you hear me okay back there? Okay, is it better? Okay, so Forks Over Knives changed my life. My husband and I were couch surfing. And again, spoiler alert on the, on the movie, they talk about how you can prevent, treat, and reverse some of the leading causes of preventable death. Pablo Estine, Dr. Pablo Estine, our renowned cardiologist, is in the movie, and he talks about how he had patients that he actually reversed their coronary artery disease. They got off their blood pressure medicines. They reversed their health. And I was like, what if? What if they're right? What if you can control your health by what you eat? Can it be that easy? What if? So my husband and I watched the movie. We were amazed and fascinated. So the next day I jumped on my computer and I looked up the Forks Over Knives and I found out that they had a weekend retreat. So jumped on a plane, went on to the weekend retreat and I got to listen to Dr. Kawa Sistine and T. Colin Campbell and Dr. Neil Barnard, nutritionist Jeff Novick talk about how they show they reversed people's chronic diseases by a whole foods plant-based diet. I was fascinated. So my family, <clears throat> the health history is really hard. My dad's had six heart attacks. He has 11 stents in his heart. He actually has the uh, record at CMC in Manchester for the number of stents. He has uh, been recently diagnosed with dementia and, um, as of yesterday, lung cancer. My grandmother died of ovarian cancer. My grandfather died of a stroke. And my husband's family is riddled with breast cancer. Every adult female in that family has got breast cancer. So I was like, what if? What if I can protect my family from that same fate. What if? This movie really hit home to me, as I said, so I had to, had to figure out, is this real? Like, can we really control our health by what we just put in our mouths? Can you hear me okay? diagnosed yesterday with lung cancer, so it just takes me a minute to digest that. It's been really hard. 
EPA does not adapt a whole foods plant-based diet, unfortunately. Um, but I can tell you, my husband, myself, and my kids who are here at the Wandering Moose uh, booth over there, I suffered from chronic neck and back problems from the age of 19 up until I became plant-based. I've been to neurosurgeons, orthopedic surgeons, chiropractors, osteopaths, acupuncture, massage therapy, you name it, I did. And I thought, I am just gonna live the rest of my life in pain. I'm gonna live with chronic neck and back problems. I also had chronic stomach issues where everything made me sick, right? Everything I ate, I get gassy, bloaty, TMI, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but I was afraid of food. I got to the point where I was actually afraid to eat. I was like, oh, I don't know, it's gonna upset my stomach. My husband used to joke, he'd be like, you know, it was ice cream, ice cream made you sick. I'm like, no, it was the broccoli. The broccoli's really gassy, that was what made me sick. So when I was diagnosed with a dairy allergy, I had dairy's wonderful, everybody loves dairy, not here. <laughs> But I did, it was really difficult. But I can tell you, after we adapted a whole food plant-based diet, my neck and back issues went away. Since I was 19, I had been going to a chiropractor or physical therapy religiously for the last 30 years. After I adapted a plant-based whole foods diet, I don't get back issues anymore. I don't have the stomach issues that I was chronically plagued with. I feel better now than I did in my 20s. I'm in my 50s, and I feel better now than I did then. I thought I was gonna live the rest of my life sick and in pain. It works, it works very well. My husband lost over 40 pounds. My son and daughter are here. My son had chronic itchy eczema skin where he'd scratch himself bloody. No more of that. Chronic bloody noses, gone. My daughter had chronic ear infections, gone. The transformation in our family has been amazing. Whole foods plant-based diet works. It reverses, prevents, and treats most of our chronic illnesses. Okay, again, this is the plant-based 101. Gosh, I've been just pushing that away. Plant-based 101 talk. So as I mentioned, I was certified plant-based nutrition by Dr. Keith T. Colin Campbell at Nutritional Studies and Dr. Neil Barnard with the Physicians Committee of Responsible Medicine and Amazing Mentors. <laughs> this presentation was developed by T. Colin Campbell, Center for Nutritional Studies. So the 10 leading causes of preventable death, and I know Beth kind of touched on this already, but if you look at the ones in red, you might not be able to see them over there, but it's heart disease, cancer, lower respiratory disease, stroke, accidents, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, influenza and pneumonia, kidney disease, and suicide. Heart disease, cancer, stroke, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and kidney disease are all in red, if you can't see that. They've all shown a strong link to nutrition. So what if, what if we can prevent these things by what we put in our bodies. That easy, right? Our state of health statistics, we are spending almost $10,000 per year on health expenditures. $3.2 trillion nationally in health expenditures. In 2018, they had over 1.7 million new cases of cancer. We have to ask ourselves why. Why are we in this state of health, right? I don't know about you, but when I grew up, there may be like a husky kid in the class. Maybe you knew like a great aunt who had cancer or was sick. You look around now, we have kids. People are dying left and right. Why? Why? What's changed? The food has changed, right? So they looked at 
countries who consume the most amount of animal fat versus breast cancer. I don't know if you guys can see this slide out there, but the countries that had the lowest amount of animal intake had the lowest rates of breast cancer. The ones that had the highest, Denmark, New Zealand, United States, Canada, had the highest rates of breast cancer. The World Health Organization, I know uh, Megan and Bethel talked about this, in 2015 talked about red meat classification as a carcinogen. Four slices of bacon can increase your rate of prostate cancer 18%. And if you are a smoker, that jumps to 83%. So what are plant-based foods? Everybody talks about plant-based, whole food plant-based, but what is it? Anybody? Fruits, right, vegetables, legumes, nuts and seeds. So if you can see it, I have like spinach. Can you guys see that screen at all? Okay, well it just has lots of plant-based foods up there. But a plant-based whole foods diet has been shown to prevent, treat, and reverse some of those top 10 causes of death that I showed you, okay? They're anti-inflammatory. Best of all, you lose weight, right? They're rich in vitamins, minerals, antioxidants that the body needs. They're high in minerals and vitamins, things that you don't get from animal foods, right? And also, the best part about it is you don't have to calorie count. We don't have to just watch what we eat. We can eat what we want if you're eating a whole food, plant-based diet. And again, whole foods is close to the source, right? So the amazing thing about plant-based foods is you get more bang for your buck, right? So they're filled with fiber, and fiber fills you up. You can see this, you might not be able to see it, but <laughs> it shows a calorie density. Fruits and vegetables, you have 400 calories in each category, completely full, so it fills you up with 400 calories of fiber. When you have beans and greens and potatoes, same thing, animal products much lower, cheese and oil, 400 calories does not go very far. There's a saying that says, you know, people are starving themselves to obesity. What does that mean? Because people are eating and they're not eating nutrition. So they're eating and eating and they're always hungry. Because they're not, their bodies are not getting the nutrition that they need. I had a friend who adapted a whole food plant-based diet, and she was amazed that she wasn't hungry all the time. She was previously, before starting that, hungry all the time. She would eat, 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 but she wasn't getting the nutrition that she needed. Right, so her body was always hungry. So plant-based processed foods, we really want to limit them. They're highly comprised of fat, calories. They're very low in, in nutrients, right? So we want to eat things close to the source as possible, one or two steps away. So breads, cereals, pastas, minimally processed. <laughs> Although they mentioned the Impossible Burger and the Beyond Burger, they're wonderful but they really are transition foods to a whole food plant-based diet. So what are animal-based foods? I think we all know that, cheese, yogurt, dairy, meat. And a whole, whole food plant-based diet, like I said, prevents and treats illness, whereas an animal-based diet actually elevates your blood cholesterol. It promotes the formation of cancer promotes the growth of tumors. It's inflammatory. So prior to me becoming a whole food plant-based, I had chronic neck and back issues. I literally could not turn my head more than this. And as Mike said, I'm a helicopter pilot. I need to look around. And we're talking when I was 22, 23. I'd been dealing with such inflammatory issues with my neck and back. Seriously, I went to the chiropractor two times a week. I went to the chiropractor recently. 
I was getting a trip to California. If I sit for a long time, my back will bother me, or at least that's the way it used to be. And I went in, and the nurse was like, my goodness, how are you? How are you doing? I'm like, good. She's like, you haven't been here in two years. Since I was 19, I was going to the chiropractor or osteopath or physical therapy. So I was 19, at least once a month, if it got bad, you know, twice a week. So the biggest question I get is protein. Where are you gonna get your protein, protein, protein? And one of the major problems that people don't understand is protein is what got us in this trouble with the chronic disease. The standard American diet, we consume 70% protein. We should be consuming 10% protein, 10% fat, and 80% whole foods, okay? Grains, legumes, fruits and vegetables. So they did a study when they broke down the nutrient composition with plant versus animal-based foods. And they took 500 calories of energy, and I'm sorry you can't see this chart, but they broke it down into plant-based and animal-based. Cholesterol, fat, protein, dietary fiber, vitamin C, iron, calcium, beta-carotene, vitamin E, folate, magnesium. And not surprising, when they did it, so it's 500 calories, and it was beef, chicken, and fish, and the animal base, and the plant base was potatoes, tomatoes, broccoli, and onions. Not surprising, 34 grams of protein in the animal base side, right? We, are, we get that. But look over here at the animal, plant based side, I'm sorry, I said animal based, 34, <laughs> sorry. The plant based, 33 grams, one gram difference. Okay, so you get the same amount of protein that you would with an animal-based diet. Cholesterol, 197 milligrams, right, in the animal-based side. Plant-based side, zero. Dietary fiber, 31 grams in the plant-based side, zero in the animal-based side. You can see there's very little nutrition. Sorry, you can't see it, but vitamin C, for example, is 293 milligrams versus four. Okay, beta carotene, 29,000 in the plant-based side, 17 in the animal side. So very low nutrition in animal-based product, products. So a plant-based diet will naturally, with a variety of whole foods, will contain enough protein, right? So we are not a protein deficient society, we are a fiber deficient society. <laughs> So this is an example of 12 plant foods that are high in protein. Split peas, lentils, chickpeas, edamame, quinoa, tempeh, tofu, peanuts, soy milk, kidney beans, black beans, satan, soy meats. So what do we eat? Okay, this is not a vegan diet. Okay, whole foods plant-based diet is one or two steps away, okay, from the source minimally processed. We want to eliminate any animal-based products, really limit the salt and oil and sugar, okay? And if you're going to use salt, don't cook with it. Just put a little bit on your meal to taste, right? So here's the nutrition rainbow, and I think, um, I think Megan had this up earlier, but basically that's my motto. Eat a rainbow every day. I say that to my kids. Did you eat your rainbow today? Right? We want to have the plethora of the whole foods. It's not just about kale. It's not just about one nutrient. It's about all of them. The other thing I want to remind you all is, you know, a lot of us start a whole food plant-based diet and say, okay, I'm going to do it because I want to lose weight. The rest of my family, they're doing their thing. Okay? I really want to urge you to include them in your process, okay? You want to be healthy, but not them? Get them all involved, okay? Bring them along your journey. I became, you know, a Whole Foods uh, plant-based certified health instructor. Every day I would go home and teach my kids what I learned, 
I was fascinated, and I wanted them to know. They were five and eight when we started this. Kids, I think, naturally are drawn to healthy things. They know what makes them feel good, right? So what do we eat? People are always fascinated, like, okay, you do it. What do your kids eat? We eat all the same things we used to on a standard American diet. We just do them a little bit differently. So we have pancakes. I'm sorry, you can't see these slides, but it's pancakes and a, a parfait made with cashew uh, cream with a strawberry. It looks so luscious. I'm sorry you can't see it. So for breakfast, oatmeal, cereal, grits, breakfast burritos, bagels, muffins. And here I have a nice slide of a beautiful little tray that I made for my kids. It's got almonds and a vegan blueberry muffin that my amazing husband made. Um, if you could see it, it's a, a few a fruit skewer. So it's in a, in a, a vegan yogurt. But it's, you know, beautiful and pretty. Things that kids will like. You know, you're gonna make it visually appealing. This, if you can see it, is a carrot lox and vegan cream cheese bagel. It was amazing. Tofu and polenta. So some lunch ideas. So I just wanna give you like the step-by-step -step ideas on how to transition. Pizza, sloppy joes, tacos, sandwiches. Again, we do all the same things, we just do them differently, right? So we use cashew cheese or almond cheese that we make at home. If you guys saw the cooking demonstration, it's so easy to make. Five ingredients and you've got a delicious cheese. That's my nacho cheese sauce, you probably can't see it. Um, again, this is just a vegetable that I cut to hearts for the kids. Again, just making it visually pleasing. Kids can be really tough, or husbands, or whomever you want to change or, or treat to a whole foods plant-based diet, you just have to make it pretty. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I can't even see it. Um, so the holidays. The holidays can be very tricky, right? Food is like a religion to so many people. Can you guys see this at all? You can? Okay. So this is a satan loaf that my husband again made. Um, it's the cranberry stuffing with roasted vegetables and potatoes. This is what we had for Christmas. So, this is a polenta stack and my beautiful son. So, the best part about today and all of these events that we're having is that it goes to show that people are ready to change. People want to change and people want to be healthy. And never has it been so easy for us, right? If you go to Whole Foods, they actually have a food concierge that will walk you through the store and teach you how to shop. You have PCRM, so kickstarter.pcrm.org, huge resources, right? There's so many resources out there. And usually people don't say get your phones out, but get your phones out. And I want you guys to download the app from PCRM, it's a 21 day challenge. And for those of you who are already plant-based, I would give you the challenge to go plant-based for the next 21 days. TransformNH.com is my website. If you have any questions or if you want to um, you know, talk recipes, just text me, give me a call, I'm happy to help. So online, it's kickstart dot pcr.org and on the app it's the kickstarter 21 day challenge pcrm.org nutritional studies plantpurenation.com aplantbaseddiet.org nutritional facts and transform health and fitness forks over knives there are so many resources out there right now dvds books so T. Colin Campbell said, imagine having the key to health and longevity right in your hands, easily accessible, as simple to implement as raising your fork. Can it be that easy? Yes, it can be that easy. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. Hello? Hey, you, are you finished now? I am. Okay.
Hi, I'm sorry, I don't know a little early. It's okay. I'll just be talking. Yeah, anyone has questions for Colleen? CC. About, yes. which has B12 in it. So um, I have my numbers checked usually every year. But uh, Dr. Bill, Neil Barn, I really suggest that you take a supplement when you're starting this. Um, so it's really a personal preference. You know, most plant-based foods are not going to have the B vitamins. Mushrooms do have a slight amount of B. Um, but that's kind of how I would suggest. Either you, you know, have your numbers checked, use um, a supplement or just uh, use a lot of nutritional yeast. Any other question here? I guess I'll Okay. Well, um, let's see. Is there anything else you can add here? Because we've got plenty of time. Or we can just, I get, I get plenty of things I can talk about about our, our event here today. Um, your, your practice, uh, your transformational, what is it called again? Transform Health and Fitness. What exactly is that, that business? So I'm a health coach and um, I basically work with clients. We teach classes and we also work with corporations to teach their employees how to save money, or excuse me, how the company can save money on their employees with sick days and um, health expenditures. So it's really to educate people about the benefits of a whole food plant-based diet. And again, I do want to stress, you know, vegan is great, uh, but whole foods plant-based is just a little bit beyond that. We really want to, you know, eliminate any of the processed foods and eat as close to the source, again, one or two steps away. And if, if you talk about your own personal experience and getting healthy, is that what, you think that's what's necessary? Not just eating vegan, not just eating plant-based, but eating whole food plant-based? Yes, absolutely. So. As I said, you know, I suffered for years and I really thought the rest of my life I was going to be chronically dealing with my neck and back problems. And it is really amazing to me that I don't have it. Maybe when the weather gets a little, you know, my neck will get a little sore. But I was plagued with chronic neck and back problems. I mean, Advil, Flexeril, whatever the doctors would give me, which just made me tired with pain. So I know this works. It really is transform transformative. Okay, great. And we do have one vendor here today. I think I mentioned to you, if you guys are not familiar, it's Mama Says, which is on the back right. Everything they have is whole food, plant-based, and organic. Every That's just what everything their company makes. So it's exactly what CC is talking about here today. So if you want, if you haven't tried any food like that, you can go and, I think they got burgers today, I think. <laughs> Yeah, they do. Five dollars, good price. Oh, actually, one thing I did want to add is, and Mike on our cruise, did you get to see the Game Changers? Yes. So yes. the Game Changers, if you guys have not heard about it, is a James Cameron film that's coming out. It's produced by Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger, along with James Cameron. And this movie, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. It is a game changer. It's coming out September 16th, so please mark your calendars. It's a one-day only showing. They have a pre-release in New York right now, so if you're able to get to New York, you can view it there. But this movie is all about athletes, the top athletes, the strongest man on earth is in this movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger, as I mentioned, Serena and Venus Williams. They have all the top athletes, and it is so amazing. And it's mostly geared towards men, men and athletes. But they talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's like, I was up to 12 eggs a day. I ate steak every single day. What happened to my body? Because I was Mr. Universe. He had bypass surgery, as you know. His body went to, right? The people that are on this movie, it's so fascinating. I seriously, I laughed, I cried. At the end of the movie, I was like, Whoa! I mean, it is a game changer. So please go see it. Take everybody you know to go see it. It's on my Christmas list. Everybody in my family is getting a copy of this movie. 
but it is only a one day release on September 16th. So please go see it in Hand Forks Over Knives if you haven't seen that. It's an eye opener. There's so many resources out there though. So you have all these websites to choose from. Call, text, Beth is there. There's so many people who are happy to help. Yeah, and our nonprofit channel, a plant-based diet.org, it's on our YouTube channel. You go there and type in a plant-based diet.org. You can watch Plant Pure Nation if you're familiar with that movie, which is also similar to the, the, the 21 Day Jumpstart. I guess you're familiar with that with PCRM, right? Absolutely, and I had them all download the app. Okay, good. And actually, I want to mention, if, if you haven't heard earlier, I'm working right now with Green Fair Organic Cafe in, in Northern Virginia. Gwen Whitaker owns that restaurant. She is actually one of the executive producers of the Game Changers movie. And her restaurant is probably literally the healthiest restaurant in the world. Uh, I've done a lot of traveling recently, so I can, I can confidently say that. But also, I'm going to do the 21 Day Jumpstart, which they offer at the restaurant, starting on this Tuesday. I'm going to document the whole thing on our YouTube channel, so you can watch that and see how it goes. They're going to do my blood test ahead of time, right? And then we do blood test after. And for food, since Green Fair already is a completely whole food plant-based restaurant, they're going to provide me with all the food. I don't have to make any food for 21 days. They just give it all to me. And so it'll be an interesting experience. So if you want to see how that goes, you know, tune into the YouTube channel. That's great advice. Thank you, Mike. Oh, one other thing. I kind of went through the um, slides because they weren't showing, but I did have the dining out. Um, and one of the tricks of the trade is when you are dining out, ask Ask your waitress or waiter, can the chef make a vegan chef's choice, right? If they don't have anything on the menu that you like. I've had some of the most amazing meals by just asking, vegan chef choice. Yeah, that's good. A lot of times they like to get creative. A lot of times the chefs are restricted, restricted by their own management, right, as to what they can put on the menu. Yep, and, and they, they like a challenge. You know, they're making the same thing every day, so they have something kind of thrown in there. I mean, it's not too busy, obviously, but um, or call ahead and just say, hey, I'm coming in with my family. We're all vegan. I see there's nothing on your menu. Can you make something? And we've had really good luck with that. Yeah, and one other thing I want to mention is that you mentioned the Game Changers, and you mentioned how it's talking about men and spending the athletes, and I think that I've seen it twice, actually. I saw it on the cruise, and I saw it again in D.C. when they, they had changed a few things. It was about a year ago. So we're glad they're finally going to release it. And it definitely, if you, if you don't know this or not, you may know this, but I say the vegan movement in general, and especially the health, healthy vegan movement or the plant-based, whole food plant-based stuff, is mostly women. You know, it just, and, and someone alluded before is to how, you know, men have to have more health problems. So this movie is, a, is a, hopefully addresses that issue and the issue. Absolutely, Mike. And, you know, like I said, vegan diet is one thing, but a vegan diet also has lots of sugar and salt and oil, right? So chips and Pepsi are vegan tasty, but they're not a health food. So we really, again, want to keep it whole foods, plant-based, and as close to that source as we can. All right, well, does anybody else have any other questions for Cece? All right, well, thanks for being here. We have a, our, our final speaker at 3 o'clock in just about 24 minutes, so hang around here. Thank you. Thank you.